quite often I see this thing where that I like to call woodworkers tunnel vision where woodworkers don't want to expand into working with different materials like uh, acrylic or metal even though they're fantastic materials to work with uh, it might be because they're they are uh, they think you need a lot of tools to uh, step into that uh, other form of work but I want to prove that wrong and today we're going to make a simple project with woodworking tools out of metal. The project I've chosen is a batarang. It's not very functional but it's fun and you can throw it at stuff The first thing I did was print a logo of the, the Batman Batarang that I'm using and this will stick onto the piece of metal that we're cutting out. The Batarangs are going to be made of these cheap uh, circular saw blades. I got three of these for just under $10. So these are very cheap and they're made of very good steel. So this is why you shouldn't buy cheap blades for any of your tools. So, uh, right out of the package, I haven't done anything. Uh, this blade, this tooth on the blade is gone. This tooth on the blade is gone. This tooth on the blade is gone. This tooth on the blade is falling off. Four teeth are missing on a 24 tooth blade. That just seems kind of stupid to me. Now we just spray some spray adhesive on the back of the, the template and then I will paste it onto the blade. Now we just let it sit for about 45 seconds and then we'll put it on the blade. I have waited about 45 seconds and now we can just paste this on and then just put something on it to flatten it um, now we're going to cut this out with a jigsaw and I have a really good quality Diablo blade in it um, when cutting through hardened steel you'd need some sort of lubricant so the blade doesn't get destroyed so you could use uh, cutting fluid uh, for like a drill press or something but WD-40 works just as well um, the lubricant kind works better but the the normal kind works just fine and you probably already have it so jokes on you turns out if you use spray adhesive you'll cut out half of it and then it'll start ripping the paper to pieces and then you'll have to spend 45 minutes figuring out what to do
Now that I've beveled both edges and cut it out to a shape that I'm happy with, I'm just going to spray paint it black. given the paint two days to dry um, and now we're just going to get rid of the paint on this bevel and then it'll be ready to use. This is straight off the belt sander and you can see I didn't do a, a fantastic job um, but it doesn't need to look fantastic. Uh, the, the ears on the battering don't look too good but it's not like anyone's going to be closely inspecting it as they throw it. Only takes 15 hours of practice, you sick animal. Thanks everyone, that's how you make batarangs with woodworking tools.